In laboratories throughout the University of Maryland, researchers are exploring the new frontier of personalized medicine, a frontier that promises to revolutionize medicine with new treatments and new hope. Personalized medicine basically is, is we're treating patients on an individual basis uh, rather than on a population basis. Personalized medicine is based on each individual's genetic information. The advent of DNA sequencing supported by supercomputers and bioinformatics is transforming medicine, opening the doors to new treatments customized for the individual patient. Each one of us, even though we are 99.99% identical, but there are about 3 billion single nucleotide variation that define who we are, who I am, and how we respond to therapy. Armed with cutting-edge technology, researchers are helping frontline physicians to save lives and reduce health care costs. Now we are able to sequence the entire human genome. And by looking at the entire genome, or we call the decode, the, the genetic information of each individual, now we can actually, by looking at that person, that patient's genetic information, and to sort of uh, uh, customize the, the, the drug treatment. Uh, to that particular patient. It's called a personal genome machine, so its intention is personalized medicine. Um, one of the projects that we're working on right now is the Comprehensive Cancer Panel, and that will test um, some 400 genes that are involved in cancer studies um, so that we can get a profile for a particular individual and know better how to treat them. It gives you a measurement of the pH change that happens um, as a single base is added to the sequence. Um, so you can end up uh, with about 3.5 million reads that then have to go through a very complex algorithm to align it to the human reference so you can detect the mutations. Many of the late stage colon cancer, uh, they have this mutation called a KRAS mutation. If the tumor carry KRAS mutation, that means our first line drug typically called an EGFR inhibitor, become useless. So as a result, currently, uh, in the entire nation in the United States, we save about $750 million just for this one particular test. Another test helps determine whether people are likely to respond well to Plavix, a blood thinner used to prevent clotting, heart attacks, and stroke. Historically, uh, some patients may experience adverse drug side effect. And with this new test called a CYP2C19 genotyping test, within three and a half hours, uh, we can tell a physician whether or not they can use a high dose or low dose. The research conducted here is but one example of how the University of Maryland School of Medicine is transforming medicine by facilitating the translation of fundamental science to patient care. At the University of Maryland School of Medicine, I'm Larry Roberts.